Hello and welcome back to question 2. Now in question 2, we are given a, a curve with this equation over here. And we're given in part 1 that there are two points on the curve P and Q. And both P and Q have the x-coordinate 1. Ha, so we know this is not a 1 to 1 uh, function. So find the exact gradients of the tangent to C. Hmm. Find the exact gradients of the tangents at the points P and Q to the curve, of course. Right? So that means I'm expecting some sort of differentiation. Now looking at this, uh, the form of the curve that was given to us, I don't feel like differentiating it here like that because then I will have to use the quotient rule. Now what we can do is we can re-express this uh, by multiplying the denominator on both sides and we get this. Now this is something that I would prefer to differentiate. But before that, um, in order to find the exact gradient of the tangents, I would need to know the coordinates. Right? I'll need to know uh, the exact coordinates because right now I only know that for point P, it is one something and for point Q, it is one something. I need the y coordinates of both points. So I'm going to substitute x equals to one into this. Let's call this equation number one. So let's sub x equals one into equation number one. We're going to get one cube minus two y square equals to one square plus three times one times four i. So that's three y. And we're going to get a quadratic in y. And it's rather easy to solve. We just need to factor out y equals to zero. So that means y equals to zero or y equals to negative three over two. So I have these two points. Right, it really does not matter which one you put. P could be the one with negative three over two, but I'm just going to let it be this way. Next, we're going to differentiate equation one with respect to x because I want dy dx, the gradient function. So differentiate equation one with respect to x. That's going to give me, okay, let me just highlight this so we, we know what we are differentiating here. If you're following along and trying to do this, right? We're differentiating the one in white. So that will give us three x squared minus four y. Don't forget chain rule, you have to differentiate y. So that's a dy dx. And then two x plus, uh, this is going to be a product rule. We have 3y plus 3x dy dx, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this equation number two, right? Then I can go ahead and find out what is the gradient uh, at point P and point Q by substituting uh, the x and y coordinates in. So, but maybe before that, um, maybe it's a good idea to make dy dx the subject of the formula. That way then I don't have to and I have some savings. So instead of calling this equation number two, let me just very quickly make dy dx the subject of the formula. I have dy dx, 3x plus 4y equals to 3x squared minus 2x minus 3y. So I can say that dy dx is 3x squared minus 2x minus 3y divided by 3x plus 4y. Okay, let's call this equation 2. Next, I'm going to substitute uh, P, which is 1, is it 1, 0? 1, 0 and 1, negative 3, 2 into dy dx. So dy dx is equal to 3 times 1 minus 2 times 1, oh sorry, 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 3 times 0 divided by 3 times 1 plus 4 times 0. Oops, 1 times 0 is 0. So I get a 1 over 3. Yeah, 1 over 3. That is the gradient at point P. Next, let's substitute Q. 1, negative 3 over 2 into equation number 2, which is dy dx. This is going to be 3 times 1 times 1, 2 times 1, minus 3 times of negative 3 over 2, divided by 3 times 1, plus 4 times negative 3 over 2. 
Okay, so this one is a little bit less straightforward. We have to kind of think about this. So 3 minus 2 is 1, minus 3 times of 3 over 2, that's plus 9 over 2, over 3 minus 6. So that's going to give me 11 over 2 divided by negative 3. So that's negative 11 over 6. And that is the answer. The gradients at point P and Q is going to be 1 third and negative 11 over 6. So that's question number 2. Uh, to part 1. Next, let's find question number 2, part 2. Find the acute angle between the tangents to C at the points P and Q. Right, so this is a nice question. What does it mean? Find the acute angle between the tangents. Okay, so let's try and visualize what's happening. Okay, for part two. So if I have a curve, let's draw a random curve, right? And at x equals to one, there are two positions, right? One of the gradients is negative 11 over six. Maybe this one is negative 11 over six. Okay, and then the other one is uh, one third, I think. One over three. Okay, and you want to find this angle over here. What is this angle going to be? Now, one easy way that we can do this is, since the gradient is one over three, that means if I were to draw a horizontal line, right, uh, I kind of know the ratio uh, of this to be one is to three. Why? Because the gradient is one over three. The rise over run, right, the gradient is the rise over run how much the vertical height has changed over how much the horizontal distance has changed. That is one to three. So I can call this maybe angle alpha. Alpha equals to tangent inverse, one over three. Okay, and then for the other side, let's choose say green. We can call this beta, right? And this is going to be a ratio of, you know what, let's not get the same. So this is 11 over six. So I'm going to do beta equals to tangent inverse, 11 over 6. Okay, and then to find our answer, theta equals to tangent inverse 1 over 3 plus tangent inverse 11 over 6. Let me just very quickly check um, what is the answer. Okay, in radians, the answer is 1.18. 3SF. Yeah? And that is question number two. Hope that was helpful and I'll see you in question number three.